All right, hey guys, it's Kevin Schmidt again, physical therapist, bike fitter out here in Portland, Oregon for another Healthy Dose installment of the Simple Tips to help keep you guys happy, healthy, and pain-free on the bike. Uh, today we had someone uh, talk to her, actually we just recently saw a client the other day uh, that was experiencing tailbone pain. Um, so not really like lower back pain, but actual tailbone pain as well when they were riding a bike. Uh, they had just gotten an e-bike. Um, and had just gotten into cycling and was starting to get tailbone pain as well. So let's talk about this a little bit. It's not the most common thing that we will tend to see is, is true coccyx or tailbone pain. So let's talk a little bit about kind of what that is um, and where that tailbone is located and how they can possibly get compressed uh, or irritated with cycling. Uh, so therefore we can kind of help a few of you guys out there if you're struggling with this as well. So just looking at the anatomy of the body, um, the lower back is kind of here. We've got two pelvic bones here on either side, joined in the middle by the sacrum. And at the very tail end of this sacrum, we have kind of what's called the coccyx or the tailbone as well. Most of the time when we're riding bikes, we don't generally tend to have a lot of pressure on this tailbone because we're kind of rotated forward on the, on the pelvis a little bit as well, which takes a little pressure off that as well. Uh, but commonly when we tend to see people with tailbone pain, there's one of two things kind of happening. The first of which is they're very upright. So oftentimes with an e-bike or a cargo bike, you're very vertical. So the more you're our position vertically on that saddle, the greater chance of this tailbone kind of being touched or compressed a little bit as well. Um, if you combine being very upright with being way too high on the saddle, you can kind of do the math that as you're pedaling, you're kind of reaching at the bottom of that pedal stroke and you're just constantly putting more pressure on this coccyx or this tailbone down here. So if we were to look at this on a model and we talk about where this is, uh, we've got of course a saddle here as well. And most of the time in a typical, like a road bike or you know a position, you still need to roll the pelvis forward a little bit more in order to be on that saddle. And as long as we do that, we create some space back here um, where the tailbone can be. However, if we're very vertically oriented, very flat, or if we're kind of tucking our tailbone down when we're riding, we're gonna possibly put a lot more pressure right on that tailbone as well too. So that would be the first thing then to check is just to make sure is the rider forward? We have to kind of roll that pelvis forward to keep our back flat. If you're tucked under like that, that will be putting a lot more pressure kind of right on that coccyx or tailbone as well. And then number two is we need to make sure that your saddle is not too high as well. Um, in this person's case, they had both of those things happening. They were very vertical. Uh, bars were almost too close, so it's forcing them to really slouch and really kind of posteriorly rotate pelvis. I guess I'll come from this side so you can see, rotate pelvis, and therefore they were getting a lot of compression right on that tailbone as well. So we coach them a little bit on posture. Uh, we lower the saddle down, make sure they're on their stable, learn to kind of keep things moving forward, and we're able to take the pressure off that coccyx or that tailbone as well. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys. If you do have questions about this, uh, please make a little comment below. We always love to hear your comments about this. Again, not the most common thing you're going to see, but for people that experience tailbone pain, it's very uncomfortable. Uh, we'll definitely stop you from riding. We just want to keep you guys happy, healthy, and riding as much as you'd like without pain. So again, if you found any value to this, or if you enjoyed or learned anything, please click like and consider subscribing. Otherwise, keep those questions coming. It's your questions that keep this channel going. Until next time, I'm Kevin out here in Portland, Oregon, and I will talk to you next time. See ya.